this seem a little dim to you? That seems a little better. Oh, my goodness, my friends. Hello. Happy Friday. True Kelt, congratulations to you. That was quite fast, my friend. Uh, and you've had quite a few very fast firsts, I must say. Um... <laughs> I like the uh, the banter going on before I uh, before I went live. Uh, Spooky is staying hydrated. Good to hear that. That's good to hear. Too dang warm outside to not stay hydrated. I think you are still a very thirsty boy. <laughs> Mug of coffee, glass of water. Good combo for sure. <laughs> Guess I was wrong in the little literal sense and right in the sensual one. Oh goodness. Oh my. True Celt? Hello there. Hello there to you, my friend. <laughs> Caught me lacking in another tab. Ah, sorry to hear that, Spooky. Uh, Charles, aloha to you. V Gates. Bienvenido. I'm saying bienvenido, uh, even though you said bienvenu. But. <clears throat> ready for the weekend baby anybody got anything uh awesome coming up i have to say i'm i'm in a bit of a i'm in a bit of a pickle if you will uh pi i don't know pickle's not the right word i'm just i haven't made a decision on what i should do yet for this weekend so. <laughs> it'd be great if i could get a file to load at another company uh i don't think it is our format uh-oh you have to load you're uploading a file it is, Friday, it is Friday the 13th, and I keep forgetting that that's a thing this week. So, well, uh, here we are. Here we are. Um, <clears throat> my hair's getting... Uh, actually, meant to, I keep forgetting to do this. I'm going to do it right now. I keep forgetting to see when my appointment is. I think it's next week. Uh, my barber. Yes, Wednesday. Wednesday the 18th. My barber is in Puerto Rico right now. Uh, that's where he is from, so he's actually like... I think it was his first time going back to Puerto Rico since since he originally moved here, I want to say. Or maybe it was... It's been a long time. It's been probably like four or almost five years. So, Got another washout weekend. No way, really? Probably just gaming and indoor chores. Really? Your appointment is Tuesday? I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous. Mine's... It's just... It's getting to be a little much on top. Uh, my hair's just too like fluffy, or I don't know what you want to say. Uh, this is there's there's like an I, I have the same thing with my beard. Like there's an awkward stage of growth, and my hair is at it right now. I feel like um, if it gets a little bit longer, it's it's a little less awkward. Uh, but then again, I don't really let it get that long usually. <laughs> Normally I would have had it cut this week, but because he was he was uh, visiting family and everything, I you know, yeah, feels great to. It does actually feel pretty soft. It is quite soft. Had a good uh, you know shower after after the competition last night. Um, so yeah, all I've done is sleep, uh, and it feels pretty smooth. But you know what's funny is actually during uh, that was one of the very few bright spots during the uh you know quarantine hair uh that i let grow out uh it it was kind of fun to run my fingers through it but um but it looked terrible for me uh i think i i honestly think maybe it could have been okay if i had some sort of style but i just was letting it all grow and so my ears were kind of like halfway covered and that kind of bothered me <laughs> i don't ever usually have my ears covered with my own hair so yeah it's uh it's pretty interesting but um <clears throat> so i have this conundrum i guess you could say uh i i registered for a track meet that is about three and a half hours away from me um and uh, i'm trying to decide if i want to drive that far so it's about about seven hours of driving or, or maybe a little more because i might take my time getting there so that i can get out and stretch my legs uh, at least once on the way there um but, uh, yeah, it's a lot of driving, and uh, Mrs. Magoots can't go, so it's just going to be me. And that's a long time to drive. So I drive out there, run two races in the heat, and then drive three and a half hours back. Um, 
and that would pretty much be my entire day, more or less. Uh, so I'm trying to decide if that's what I want to do or not. The other issue is that the, I, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I was thinking about doing a double of a 400 meter, 400 meter hurdle uh, race. And I'm seated first overall in the 400 and then last in the 400 hurdles. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, and I don't mind getting last. I really don't uh, because I have not raced the 400 hurdles in eight years, uh, but uh, like literally eight years. But, um, uh, but I'm trying to decide if that's like, like, like I'm, I'm the first seed in the 400 open by kind of a lot. And then uh, the last seed, not by a lot in the 400 hurdles. Cause I also am guessing my time. If I run, if I ran my best, I'd probably get like third or something. But, um, but, uh, but I can't imagine I'm going to run my best in my very first race in eight years. So anyway, a little bit of a conundrum. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I need to think on it. Otherwise, I could just stay home and play lots of video games, maybe. Yeah, probably not, but I maybe could. Uh, but speaking of games, today we're back into some sleeper citizen. Sorry, citizen sleeper. <laughs> um, I think maybe we have a chance to finish it today. It's it's possible. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, I do hope everyone. Oh, I never noticed a splash screen before. Oh, my game needs an update. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, it won't take very long. It's already done installing. <clears throat> I wonder what was in the update. Uh, there was a very, very pretty splash screen that just showed up. So, let's bring you all in. Wait, 11? Oh, is that the number of cycles? Hang on a second. There was an 11 next to my name. Or my class, I should say. I don't have a name. Hang on a second. I have two upgrade points? Wait. What the heck am I doing wrong here? Um, there's something I need to... There were two things that I needed. Oh, use scrap components at home to repair two condition. Oh, that's really good. That would be really, really good. Because then I don't have to buy, um, ooh, ooh, that'd be nice. Because then I wouldn't have to buy, uh, the, the stabilizer. Ooh. Okay. Um, chance to gain cryo on interface actions. Okay, we can gain cryo. Cryo would be nice, too. I can use two points. Oh, but these cost two points, so I'd have to use all of it. Okay. Sunbathe dice action allows energy recovery at home. Ice action? I don't know what a sunbathe... I don't know what that looks like. Dice actions display potential positive and negative outcomes. Oh, that's kind of nice. And ch chance to gain energy after any engage action. Okay, energy has not been too big of an issue. More so the condition. And then cryo. I kind of want to go full engineer here. I might do that. Scrap components at home to repair two conditions. So uh, that that does that is kind of a, a trade off. A little bit of cryo for condition, but that's kind of how it's been the whole time. I just don't know when I even got those. I don't remember seeing because I still have upgrades available. I have two more upgrade points, or did I just? What is this? Oh, a plus two. Okay. Wait, I still have... No, I don't have any upgrade points. Why is it showing me this? Nice chill for IA stream, of course. And I am, in fact, wearing socks and sandals. Rukel, enjoy the lurk, my friend. Yeah, it is a socks and sandals Friday. Absolutely. Wait, what is this? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I've got four turns I have to bring up to Ethan. I don't know. This bill isn't going to be small, is it? Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, okay. Ashton, do I have... This guy needs, what, two more turns? One more turn. Okay. 
socks and sandals. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a perfect day for it. Warm. But also, I'm trying to stay a little cool. You wear sandals since I was going on comma. Uh, sometimes. Only sometimes. It's either, I mean, it, either sandals or slippers. And uh, today it's sandals. This, the slippers would be too warm. You know what I mean? How are you doing today, though, comma? Anything new going on? I only get a plus one still to my engineering. Okay. I feel like this would be a good thing, though. Like, if I can get this yard hand dealio going, because we are also trying to escape. <laughs> Excuse me. But the problem is I can't, I'm not rolling any, I'm not rolling low enough dice right now. Okay, but I do need to try to get some scrap. Let's see, what else is there to do here? We need engage plus one. Okay, okay. I can't do those anymore, even if I had the money. You don't even know, comma. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, socks and sandals are kind of our thing. Kind of our thing. I need, yeah, of course, more hunter data. Not yet warm enough here. You know, really? You wouldn't say it's warm enough? You just mean today, or do you mean seasonally? I assume you mean just today. Right, okay, I can do this. This is what I want, okay. Play the exchange. This one's risky, but I can guarantee a positive outcome. I don't know if I want to yet. Second, uh, low end. I haven't done any exploration here. Uh, clack of filter caps. Let's see. They play for, oh, you know what? Okay, they play for cryo. Maybe I should do that, but that one's an engineer one. Helping out is a good way to make friends, but uh, maybe, maybe they'd pay me for that too. What's going on, Coleman? Hello, friendos. How you doing, friendo? How's your Friday? Fridays are for friendos. Trying to think. Uh, maybe, maybe I should give this one a shot. Let's do it. And just a neutral outcome. Okay. Go ahead and leave that. My office is a little chilly until late spring. I'm down here with jeans, shoes, and a pullover. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. The tactic work is unorganized today. Uh oh. Everything okay though? Transit hub. Enter the spoke. What is what would be the good what would be the out like a, a good reason to do this? Climb requires ba bravery. Okay. Either enter or climb. I'm sure it would unlock maybe it unlocks more places, but I need a couple things here in Greenway. Going green. Wait, okay, where where was this? Uh, let's see. Needed some, yeah, Mem Emphis needs some caps. Toggle that one on. Where's that at? Konichiwa, what's going on, Kirkules? How you doing, dude? Happy Friday to you. People are going for first aid training. We didn't know who was going and who was staying in the yard. Uh-oh. Answer uh, was nobody is staying in the yard, so I'll likely be pulled away to run the loader a ton today. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully that's okay with you. What is... Where do I get these from? Buy a vial of stabilizer. I don't have the money for that, though. I do need to do that. Like the shipyard. Yeah, and that's the thing. I'm so close to having that one done. Disabling the tracker, maybe extracting the past. Find Ashton. Yeah, so this dude said he wants, he wants these mushrooms, but I don't know where to find them. I'm guessing I have to... These ones don't, uh, you don't, you don't get paid for any of this stuff. I get 
pay for any of this. Kirk, you got any good weekend plans coming up? I know that you're, uh, well, it sounded like you were probably gonna have to work at some point. Hopefully you also get to relax. Bought my daughter a shirt at the HU concert. I, I still don't know how to say it. <laughs> at the concert, and she is wearing it today. She's so proud of her diverse shirt collection. That's awesome. My first transition to this job, they were like, you work in the office, you're not supposed to be pulled away to run the loader, blah, blah, blah. That did not last long. <laughs> Dang. Oh, grab, gathering scrap. Oh, shoot. Oh, maybe I should have put points. I should have put a point into endure, endurance. Crap. It's who. Okay. Okay. So I said that the first time and, uh, or no, I did say, I did say HU the first time. I did. Yeah, I remember that now. I don't mind most of the time, but I don't run it as much. So I'm not as precise as I once was. Oh, just out of like a little bit out of practice. I gotcha. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you are more precise than I will ever be, Coleman. <laughs> no doubt about that. No doots about boot. Last day off today, so lots more gaming, of course. Starting plans for my staycation on the 9th. Oh, the 9th? Okay. Okay. Shoot, coming up soon. Coming up soon, less than a month away. How long is, how long is that going to be? Is that going to be a full week? I, um... To figure out when uh we're, we're gonna be taking a little trippy trip ourselves but it's gonna be just like a couple days uh, back to new york city actually so that'll be mid-june but i don't know how relaxing that'll end up being um, but we do need to plan our post uh student loan payoff celebration we haven't done that yet um, but hopefully this fall we'll be doing it this fall 10 days awesome dang dude i'm jelly totes jelly not so much out of practice, I can't remember the size of buckets as well anymore. Oh, the size of the buckets. Beach bound in another couple weeks. How long is that going to be for Charles? And also, are you doing, uh, are you planning on uh, just kicking back and totally relaxing? Beach bum? Because that's what I want to do for our, our, uh, our student loan celebration. I want to be as lazy as possible. Every now and then, it's kind of cool to go on a vacation where, you know, you can just go and do a bunch of cool stuff but for me i'm i want to be as lazy as possible i don't know if that's fits mrs magoots's plans but um okay this carries obvious risks not if you play a six though i think i do need to get this uh because this will start unlocking some other places i think i'm gonna do this Oh, we got a three out of that. Not bad. Okay. And then let's hope that this one works. Please don't injure me. Please don't injure me. Now we just lost energy. Okay. That's fine, though. Anyways, how's the game arena today? Uh, so far, mm, <laughs> looking a little sketch, if I'm being honest. Uh, but that's not the game's fault. That is my fault. I've made uh, I, I've made some choices, you know. Wait a minute, farm stacks, vertical farms. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Shoot, I should have backed out. Should have backed out instead of using that next one. I can steal the harvest. Oh dang. Okay, and then uh, and then I can work the stacks, but they also pay. So, so this is food, huh? Okay, and that's a safe one. All right, I'm gonna do that then the next time. Uh, I only have five cryo, so I can't actually even feed myself this time. That's not good. Right. A different size loader bucket, so one might be two and a half yards, one might be three yards, etc. Do you guys use yards? I'm going to be honest. I thought yards was a strictly American system of measurement. Because if, you, if I'm being honest, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, yeah, okay, so, man, all right. Well, I do know he did say to go to Greenway, so I think I'll be able to find it there once I explore a little more. Uh, one week, uh, we're just off the beach and also have a pool, so I'm sure lots of day drinking will be in store. Day drinking in the sun, of course. Of course. I mean, naturally. <laughs> this game seems neat. I think I like it. It is It is very cool, honestly. I, uh, I think I've made... 
uh, there's definitely some replayability here, which is very cool. Um, and I've made some mistakes, so mistakes have been made, you know. So I think that there is something else to do. Yeah, there's the self repair. <laughs> the result isn't pretty. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I was hoping to get some scrap, but uh, I I messed up. Uh, okay. Go between yards and tons, really? Okay. Cheers. Did you do this because you knew that this water was stale? Cheers, Coleman. It's probably fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. I can't even tell, kind of. Almost. Almost can't tell at all. All right. Uh, tomorrow, I desperately need... Okay, this is... Yeah, this is... We're getting in a little bit of a rough shape here because if I run out of energy, my... Health starts decreasing two per day instead of just one, which is not ideal. And if it keeps going down, then I then I lose more dice. So uh, I did roll a two though. Uh, I think that actually might that might do it. Wait a minute. Oh, Fang's stuff is ready. Should I do it now or should I do my other stuff first? Let me do it now. The Ripper Worm is done. Can't help but read tons in a British accent. I know what you mean, though. There are certain words that I, uh, I'm, I'm even, even, uh, I can, I can, like, I can hear a, a British accent in my head. I just can't actually say it in a British accent. I don't know. All right. As you arrive, Fang comes striding towards you, taking you by surprise. Let's go, sleeper. He puts a hand on your shoulder and turns you back the way you came. Follow his lead. He steps into the passageway, guiding you down, r down ring towards the shipyard. Sorry for the hurry, but we have something of an opportunity. That data you ripped? Well done, by the way, he grins. Tells me Harden is making a rare inspection of the sidereal horizon this cycle. It's the perfect chance to confront him outside of that compound he hides in. Fang takes a sharp turn into a dimly lit side passage. Side Sidereal horizon? Still catching up? That's the massive colony ship being built out in the shipyards. Biggest commission Havenage has ever had. Fang slows and slips into a dark service tunnel where somewhere a police... Water pipe drips uh, in the bl in the black. It's him, Sleeper, the same hardened Hurst. Our worm ripped out decades of records that mention him by name, an entire trail of documentation from the first days of the Solheim collapse until now. He wrote out the whole thing, slipped into Havenage when it first broke off from the Union. Also, uh, I'm hoping this guy will remove my tracker still. I don't, I don't know, though. He paces in the tunnel, a hand rubbing at the back of his head. I need you to understand something about Solheim, Sleeper. I don't know what you know about the collapse, but it wasn't as instant as it sounds. It wasn't like Solheim was here running the station one day and then next Erland's Union took power. Back then, Solheim knew this place <clears throat> knew this place was slipping away from them. As the Palladium market collapsed, they tried to keep the contractors here working. The pay got smaller, the cost higher. People like my parents were forced to work nonstop just to keep a berth on the station and water in their tanks. Lady Iron, morning. How you doing today? Tears of the coffee mug. Morning. How's your Friday shaping up so far? Oh, I'm sweet. Sweet. I cannot speak today. Oh my goodness. 14 month arenos. Wow, wow, wowie. Lady Iron. 14 months. Cheers. A big cheers to you. Thank you so much for that. How is your day treating you thus far? How's your weekend going to be looking? We got another party time? Why not? Let's do it. From the window to the wall, to the wall. Look the meat spills out my hall. My hall. Oh, these black kings crawl, crawl. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski. Oh, man. Oh, man. Everybody's awake. Everybody's awake now, right? What a party. My goodness. I'll give you another cheers up here. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Also, Charles, for the party. Hope everybody's having a great day. What is with the honks? What do you mean? Honk. What do you mean? 
Sounds like I brought the fun into Friday. <laughs> Absolutely. Love the added honks. <laughs> You know, every now and then we just got to, you know, sometimes you go to the club and you just you just honk it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's not a you know, it's not a permanent fixture of the uh, of the party. So <laughs> what's going on? Drewski jumped just in time to party. Let's go. How you doing? And you know what? Honks to everybody. Honk. Honks to everybody right now. Just a honk party. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Drewski, how's your Friday? What's everybody's uh, plans? What are everybody's plans for the weekend? I am uh, I I am curious to know. I'd love to know. It's uh, at least here. It's it's a warm weekend. Last weekend was not that warm. Uh, well, I should say Sunday was actually quite nice. Uh, in this part of the in this in my neck of the woods, if you will. So, um, but this weekend, warm all weekend, and hopefully. Although there is a chance for storms. Like Charles had already mentioned storms possible uh, in his neck of the woods. But um, I think there is a chance for some storms here. But it, I may or may not be here. I don't know yet. So I have to decide. I was looking for you, DJ. <laughs> it's going to be a nice weekend, I think. We were meeting some friends at a brewery because it's going to be warm. Awesome, awesome. Finish erasing myself from my wife's office. Getting that own office set up. Mow my lawn because it isn't supposed to rain or be extremely hot. It's not supposed to be extremely hot. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, I should probably I should probably figure something else else about my lawn too. Maybe that's what I need to do Saturday instead of going to the track meet. Yeah, yeah. I haven't bought a mower though. Uh, there's actually I found a mower that's that's nearby that's in my price range, but um, uh, maybe I just have to do that this weekend. Maybe I reach out to the guy today. That'd probably be a good thing to do. Not compared to the week we've had, that's good, yeah. Has it been up in the 90s for you this week? It touched the 90s uh, on at least one day this week for us, and that was the day I ran a, a long workout outside, so I got super dizzy and decided I needed to call it quits, so. And don't dox yourself now, but what kind of brewery? Normal Sours Funky? Did I read, I didn't read this yet, I realized. <clears throat> Back to Fang real fast. Uh, 101 Wednesday? No freaking way. Holy crap. Bill, hello. Hello, my friend, and happy Friday. You made it to the weekend, my friend. I hope it's, uh, hope it'll be a good one for you. Um, listen to this music, though. Turn it up for you guys, and, and then I'm gonna shut up. Look, listen to this. Nice. I mean, it's good. Seriously, like that, that's the thing about this game. I've been, I've been enjoying. It is. It is a brand new game. Uh, I believe. I believe. Don't 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 take me a hundred percent of my word. But I'm I'm pretty sure I saw that this was created by one guy. Um, you know, and I don't know. I don't know how that works if maybe he outsourced anything uh you know like music but i've just been impressed in how polished this game is you know so solheim squeezed every last worker until the mistakes the accidents were coming in non-stop and as new waves of contractors came in desperate to work solheim welcomed them in taking bribes that a checking pilot license the whole time solheim was folding up dragged and in, dragged into court cases in the central systems while this severed limb of a station Still desperately tried to take all it could. Pretty normal. They have a tap list and food uh, and an outside eating area. Just chill. Let's see. So you said uh, with friends. Are you guys? Uh, let's see. Any like board games or anything else? Is this a group of friends you play board games with? Hello there, Phil. Oh, I am Jelly. Um, actually, so we went to a brewery for work, uh, on, was it Wednesday? It was Wednesday, my dudes? I think so. Um, it was actually pretty solid, but, um, we didn't go outside. They did eventually, but uh, it was in the middle of the day, so it was pretty dang hot. So. 
Rib too many Friday morning meetings for me today. Should I be sick and go home? <laughs> Got the black lung pop. This is the board game group. Nice. Very nice. Might bring some small games. Someone always does. There you go. Did I hear board games? Please forward the address to Coleman. He will be there shortly. The riots came after the collision at Dock 2. A young pilot, his MEV overloaded with palladium, miscalculated his trajectory and took out a section of the ring. Hundreds died, thousands panicked. My parents told me people were terrified and the blame fell, fell solely on Solheim. Squarely on Solheim. People like to tell stories about Erlen, how he brought the factions together, spoke to the crowds, turfed out Solheim. Maybe that's true. But my mother, pregnant with me, locked herself in the MEV and welded it to the dock while my father joined the improvised crews trying to seal up the ragged edges of the gap. He never came back. <laughs> Too much time in them mines. Uh, you're always welcome. So you guys, when you say small games, like do you have like travel versions of games? Is that the plan? Or is it just when you say small games, you mean like form factor is small? Or they're short games, or what does small games mean? Gosh, I freaking love Zoolander, though, you guys. I need to rewatch that. Fang pauses in the dark. They sealed it up, though, and by the time they did, Solheim was gone, abandoning every one of us to, to the black. Apart. <clears throat> Fang finally turns back to you now, his eyes burning from poops like Harden. Poops who held their place rode it out and slipped into the new structure like nothing had changed, standing shoulder to shoulder with those they had exploited at every step. Fang starts walking in. That's why I can't just let him strut about the shipyard. This time, his past catches up with him. How is he still alive? Clearly, you don't know much about executives. The, that kind of power comes with certain benefits. Fucking like a Mr. House kind of deal. Usually like card games or other things that don't take up a lot of room. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Fang rejoins the main passageway, which is now wide and glass-roofed. Through the ceiling, you can see ships in mid-construction, their flanks lit by flashes of plasma torches. The vast bulk of the side rail horizon comes into view, like the ruins of a toppled skyscraper lying across the ring. The entrance to the shipyard is ahead. Let's go. Daughter's obsessed with unstable... Wait, what's Unstable Unicorn? Is that a game? Riley, good morning. Hello, welcome back. Cribbage equals best brewery card game, or is Cribbage technically a board game? Can I tell you something, Spooky? I've heard many a talk about Cribbage. I don't think I've ever actually played it, though. If I have, it would have been long ago, and I don't remember it. Loser buys the next round. Unstable Unicorn, though, sounds kind of fun. I don't know what it is, though. Cribbage rocks. Is it easy to get into? I'm trying to think of the, some of the card games I've played. Um, played like Rummy. Uh, it's been a long time since I played that. Uh, we used to. <laughs> here's one for you, Spooky. Do you guys in Michigan play a version of uh, maybe your version of Rummy is just different because we used to play a game called Michigan Rummy, which was very similar to like Phase Ten. It's Phase Ten, right? Pretty much Phase Ten. Uh, yeah, they're they're the same game, uh, just with a regular deck of cards instead of you know the phase ten deck of cards. Um, but like I said, I don't know that that was a, that's just what we called it. I don't know if that's actually what it was supposed to be called. But Unstable Unicorn is a card game. Is it uh, is it like a, a branded game, or can you just play with any deck of cards? My German friend has some good card and dice games. He used to play at pubs. We should play some Farkle. I do like Farkle actually. That's a dice game, but. So mad in RDR2 because they tease it at Braithwaite and you never get to play. Oh, that's right. Pretty simple overall. Some silly rules, but as long as you can add to 15, you're good. Okay. I sometimes can. It depends on the day. Yeah. Only have 10 fingers, though. Can't count fast that. It's a branded game. Okay. I should look into that, though. I don't know any rummy games here. Uh, big Canasta guy, though. Going to be a hit at the retirement <laughs> Whip those socks off. That would be funny, actually, all of a sudden. Uh, well, here, here's a great example. Here's a great time to showcase socks and sandals. So I just got to do this and be like, oh, hang on a second, guys. Let me just uh... <laughs> love it. 11, 12. 
Oh, the Stardew Valley board game. Oh, I've never played, but it looks really good. Stardew game was surprisingly good. Do you have it, Coleman? It's a lot of setup and you have it as well, Spooky. <laughs> You'd be real popular at retirement home with Canasta and Kribbage. Oh, dope. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, Rummy was different from Michigan Rummy. Like I said, Rummy, M M Rummy was like a, a normal game. And then Michigan Rummy, I feel like was my aunt's made up version of Phase 10. But maybe, maybe, maybe that game inspired a company to, to make a game called Phase 10. I don't know, but my parents live in a retirement home, so can confirm. <laughs> my roommate has it. We played it once and got pretty lucky uh, and won it fairly easily. Oh, really? Is it a, so it's cooperative then. I mean, that would make sense. That would make sense. Already getting emails. It's co-op. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I, I think it looks great. I've not actually played it, though. I would like to. I'm going to say let's go. I'm not going to tell him this is crazy. I kind of, it sounds kind of like a fun mission here. Bang grins. Let's go show this poop head some kind. This guy really loves calling him a, like, you know, the S word. Loves calling him, uh, you know, a poop. Um, Some consequences. He strides to the shipyard entrance and pushes through the doors. A web of corridors lead through the complex, snatches of the side rail horizon always appearing through windows. It looks like the corpse of a whale, suspended, skeletal, imposing. Fang seems to know exactly where he is going, and before long, he crosses into a huge dry dock locked onto one side of the side rail horizon. A network of platforms and scaffolding cling to the ship's hull, filled with workers and equipment. The sound is stretched out by the vast space so that the welding, cutting, and ceiling seems to come from everywhere at once. Love cooperative board games. What other, um... What other cooperative board games do you play, Spooky? I've only... Mrs. Magoots and I have a couple, but not very many. I love that Mrs. Magoots talks to you during game and you don't get annoyed at her like my hubby does. <laughs> did you just have to... <laughs> did you just go ask a question? Um, I... I do... I, I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't get annoyed. <clears throat> Sometimes, but uh, it also does help if I have a pause button, you know, so. Pandemic is fun. Uh, let's see. Do we do, uh, we don't actually have that, a physical version of that game. I bought that on mobile, which is actually not bad. Because we could just cast the screen to, uh, you know, the Chromecast. It wasn't bad. Betrayal at the hill, house on the hill. It starts co-op and then eventually one player becomes a traitor that works to kill the others. Okay, that actually is kind of similar to, um... Uh, a game called uh, Escape from Tall Oaks, uh, which is a game that I bought. Uh, I didn't support the Kickstarter because I didn't hear about it until after it was about to release. Um, but uh, yeah, Escape from Tall Oaks. Uh, Mixtape Massacre is the, like, that's kind of their main thing. But they have two games now. They have Mixtape. Well, actually, I think they have more. But Mixtape Massacre and then Escape from Tall Oaks. So mix Mixtape Massacre, you actually take on the role of a serial killer. Um, it's a great game to play in spooky season. And then uh, Escape from Tall Oaks, you're running from the serial killer. And then um, you can actually, the, the cool thing about those, if you buy both games, they combine. Uh, but then it becomes more of like a large party game. You have to have, I forget how many people. I think at least four. But you can combine the games, the boards together. And then somebody can be the killer and people can be the survivors. So it's kind of cool, actually. But... <clears throat> Have you ever played Dead of Winter Co-op, but with the possibility of a hidden trader? Oh, dang. That sounds really cool. But to me, uh, to me, you know, it, I it, 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 we play a lot of, I mean, if we, we play games, it's just the two of us. So uh, can you do it with two people? Like, okay, I know I'm not the trader, so she must be the trader. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, you know, she's more important or something. <laughs> well, uh, it's one of those things, too, where it's like, I, you know... I, I, I could just be like, oh, what do you want? And then and then just make her upset. Or I could just pause and be like, all right, you know, what uh, what can I what can what can we talk about? You know, because, uh, you know, it's not going to it's not going to it's not going to make things better if I uh, if I'm angry. <laughs> you just describe me too. 
Dead of Winter is fun. I love when chat gets derailed by board games. I am thriving right now. Me too. Coleman is a wash and serotonin. <laughs> I'll answer you once I'm clear of this FND base, hon. <laughs> uh, really need to scan a game in so we can have a game night. Mysterium would be a good one to play with the guild. Mysterium? One plays a ghost giving visions to the psychics uh, to narrow down the killer weapon and location. Oh, that does sound really cool. Yeah, and I also really want to see how this um, how this system works, like with, with scanned games. It sounds really cool. It's not like it sounds it sounds complicated. So like I'm having a hard time picturing it, you know. Meeting time. All right, go kill the meeting there, Charles. Show him who's boss. You can always play with board game arena. Is that similar to like a, a, a like what Coleman's got? I can't I always forget the names of these services cuz I'm not I, you know, I'm not I'm not much of a table topper myself. So I think I already, yeah, I already read this part here. Both you and Fang spot them at the same time, a group walking slowly across a gantry. At the front, two men, one gesturing towards the ship, and the other, stick thin, cleanly dressed with a shock of gray hair. Pardon. You and Fang say his name in unison, and Fang sets off up the staircase of the gantry with you following behind. It's not terrible, I just gotta stop being so lazy. I just imagine because of, like, all the moving parts in a game, you have to, I mean, how does that work? Like, scanning them in? Do you have to take like a ton of pictures? Basically virtual implementations of existing board games. Oh, so, okay, so, so you don't have to, you don't have to do any work as far as like getting it set up. You just, or, or is maybe it's the same thing for Coleman's. I don't know, like I said, I'm, I feel like I'm probably just like not capable of, of like conceptualizing it, you know? little scanning box so it scans and crops the tokens and cards itself gosh okay okay you can link to discord for, for sure yeah i'd be interested just to read about this stuff i don't know that i have anything i can really contribute i have a few games like i said but i don't know uh i think coleman i thought you said it was something like um uh you can do almost any game with it or is it any game is it not almost is it any game As you come to the same level, the group is passing closer, the foreman gesturing to the work being done on the side rail horizons hull and Harden nodding along. Harden Hurst! Fang shouts across the noise, taking you by surprise. His voice bounces and comes back in a rippling echo. The figures turn. Yes? Harden asks quizzically, raising an eyebrow. He glances between you and Fang, and you see his gaze linear on your body, unsure of why a sleeper might be in his place. In this place. You were a traitor, Hardin, a Solheim executive who tried to hide here among its victims. Fang's voice is steady, strong. That's, I'm going to be honest, that's a little bit of a weird thing to say right there. Meeting time, if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. For sure, Spooky. Good luck on the meeting, and uh, I hope it's a good I hope it's a good rest of your day, my friend, and weekend. Vorpal system I have. Uh, you can scan in any game you have. Okay. Some aren't possible right now, but they're adding more features all the time, like dice manipulation if you need to place certain dice faces in certain spots. Okay. That's cool, though. Pretty much any game you have. And that's why I'm having a hard time even picturing this in my head. <laughs> you stand for everything that I was rebuilt. I, I, okay, so am I shouting at this, or is Fang shouting this from a distance? Because it sounds like he is. You stand for everything that I was rebuilt in the shadow of, everything Erlen stood for, everything Havenage stands for. You have no place on this station. For a moment, stillness descends on the group as if everyone was held in place by the rattle of construction. Hardin laughs. Well, good to meet you, too. He glances around at those around him. Some are smiling, the others are nervous. You are from the systems branch, are you not? Asks Hardin, inspecting Fang's clothing. Fang turns to the foreman. You need to call your security. This man is a corporate agent. The foreman glanced between Fang and Hardin, his hands drumming at his sides. Hardin leans towards him and says something inaudible. The foreman nods. Do I say anything here? It's true. I'm going to do the Dwight thing. It's true. As you begin speaking, Harden turns his attention to you. And what would a sleeper know about that? You accuse me of being a corporate agent? What are you if not exactly that? He looks around at the group who are already eyeing you with suspicion. You are a product of S and ARP. You have no place in a Havenage shipyard. Who knows what signals you are sending back to your makers? 
A murmur of approval runs through the group. Yeah, I should have stayed silent. Fang holds up a stick of memory. You guessed right, I am Systems, and I have records that link you directly to Solheim right here. He turns to the foreman again. So once again, I am asking you to take this man into custody of the shipyard. The foreman remains still. Harden's voice is calm, measured. If you have such data, why hasn't it been submitted at a members meeting for proper review? He shakes his head. I have nothing to hide. Unlike a man who does not announce his name, who enters my shipyard with corporate property in tow and tries to turn my own men against me. You hear it now, the echoing sound of boots on walkways coming from all angles at once and then settling behind you. Please, says Harden. Submit the data through the correct channels, then we can talk. For now, however, you must leave. He gestures behind you to the security detail, their hands on boxy black sidearms at their sides. Fang spits. Harden, you poop head. <laughs> he loves calling him that. You can't wiggle out of this one. The security officer draws their weapon and levels it. Fang turns and stares him down. I'm going to calm him down. You look at Fang. He shakes his head and puts a hand on your shoulder. Let's go, says Fang. Uh, and he pushes through security, heading back to the walkway. Wait, I was supposed to calm him. And he put his hand on my shoulder and says, let's go. Once security has, uh, has walked you out of the shipyard and nudged you back into the corridor, Fang picks up pace. You try to keep up as he slips into the shadows of an entrance. Fang is grinning ear to ear. You know, sleeper, sometimes people are exactly how you expect them to be. Something pings in his pocket and he takes it out. On the slate, a web of connection starts drawing itself out, stretching to a set of points around the ring. Got him, mutters Fang. Uh-oh, he had a little plan going on here. What is that? That sleeper, something our worm added to Harden's personal slate. We are tracking his outgoing messages. Fang's grin looks ghostly in the uplight of his screen. The old ways are best. Spook them good enough and they'll give the game away. He jabs the slate and you see the web is being drawn over a map of the ring, lines bouncing from point to point. All these dots, these are Harden's buddies. The ones he's going, the ones he's messaging right now and we're gonna find them all. That was on purpose? I think my sleeper is a little slow on the uptake here. Of course, Harden isn't working alone. We need the full set or nothing. Fang glances around and slips the slate back into his pocket. We better split for, uh, for now, sleeper, but this is exactly what we need. Good hunting. With a pat on your shoulder, Fang drifts away back into the flow of people around the shipyard entrance. You watch him go, unsure whether to be angry or impressed. When is this dude going to take out my tracker, though? And I just got a, a, a upgrade point. Second. So, disable your tracker. Toggled the tracking on. I don't know that there's anything else here. Gosh, I, I gotta I gotta earn cryo. I've got to. Otherwise, I'm a dead man. But also I should do some stuff here too. So this one's safe. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put the four in it. They pay by yield. Please. Okay, that was a pause. We got 16 cryo, so I can at least eat now. I can go to emphasis, stand, and eat, which is good. Uh, I've got a five, which on the right thing is a guaranteed, uh, guaranteed success. I can't even do anything at the wild, or the wastes, I mean, the wild wastes. There's wild margins. Okay. Yeah, Greenway would be good. Map them. Walk the Greenway. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, well, I should, also, I should also do this. There's a Greenway gate? What is this? The entire Greenway is locked down, shrouded in a dark cloud of shifting currents. What is happening here? I need a Greenway cipher for that. Okay. Let me go ahead and go back here. I got to one of these. I think I can get a uh, hunter data this way. I think I only need one more. Is that right for this? Yes, just one more for the hunter data. Okay, that is good. Hopefully I can get it with this. Is it a two? Hopefully it's not a one. It's a one. Gosh dang it. Okay. Now the question becomes, do I use the two for one of these nodes, or do I do I use it to try to 
and just hope I get lucky with like cryo or food or something. And then again, oh no, there it is. Okay. So I'm guessing I can get half an inch data here, which I still don't really know what I'm, what I'd be doing that for. There's a keynote, which is a one. So there is basically just need a bunch of ones right now. A bunch of ones and two twos. Two twos. Is this a ship builder? Let's see. Turns it into a three. Yeah, that's not terrible. Could be wor could be a lot worse. Okay, that guy's gonna be here soon, which is good. This one's gone now. It is okay. That is good. So there will be some things there soon. Or exchange. Right. Okay. I need to do this. Play the exchange. Stabilizer, yeah. I don't know how much I don't know how much that heals me though, and then I don't know how much I'm gonna have to pay for Ethan's tab either. So I kinda have to be What do I I mean I don't also don't know what I do with this ship mine frag like the fabricator. Low end district. There are other facilities I can do. Okay, so this one is... You know, it's a good way to make friends. I don't know what to do. Will this one give me any cryo? It is engineer. I could potentially get some scrap, and that's a guaranteed win. The only other problem, though, is the green way. Okay, hang on. Let's try this. We get a three in here. I'm gonna try it. I, I, I'm kind of getting desperate here. Nice. We got an energy. Okay. Perfect. All right. That's not bad because now I can actually have a full. I'll be able to have a full. Oh, look at that. Okay. Noodle factory and delivery. So that gave us one extra space. Noodle manufa manufacture. Min Mingi has a kelp stack in the basement. He helps, and he makes noodles from the seaweed. He doesn't pay much, but he'll feed anyone who does a shift. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Delivering noodles to the nameless units of the low end takes guts and a certain fearlessness when it comes to asking for tips. Okay. Okay, awesome. I have a five here. So those ones, I can actually get... That's actually good though, because I can I can basically make sure I eat without having to spend any cryo, which is actually really important for me right now. Is this one 50-50? Oh no, 100 percent Wait. That gave me a six? I'm gonna go ahead and do this though. I'm gonna do it. Gave me only 13 cryo tank. Okay. And that was a positive outcome too. Okay. Well, we do have some cryo though. I didn't get any food from that. All right. I'm going to do this then. We're going to go eat at the, uh, this overlook bar. Um, let's see. So that's overlook regular. Maybe, uh, you know what? Maybe I should actually put those two in there. Because the extra two cryo will actually give me another drive. Maybe that's going to be valuable. Oh, you can't do it more than once a day. Okay. No, you can. Never mind. I'm silly. Okay, there we go. The glass shatters on the steel bar beside you, and the taunts don't take long to follow. Hey, Haunt, the spacer calls across the low room. What are you doing here? He laughs at his own lame joke. Playing human? Ignore him. You hunch a little further, staring at the hundreds of tiny impact points that scar the bar. A hand falls on your shoulder, but as you flinch away, it pats reassuringly. You freeze in place. This is Tala. Out, the voice comes from behind you, spat out like a shot. You turn to see bright eyes, dark hair, a stare that could breach the wall and vent you all into the hard vacuum. 
As you turn back to the spacer, the second glass comes sailing through the air. Catch. We're going to catch it. You reach up a hand, and the glass shatters across your forearm, showering you in fragments. Oh, crap. Did I just lose some health? Through the haze of glass and Jerol vapor, you see Tala leap the bar and close the distance to the spacer. The thud as he slams into the wall echoes around the bar like thunder. Now flanked by other figures, quick to their feet, Tala throws the spacer out through the door and stands silhouetted against the rotunda lights. You touch your arm and it feels wet. Someone helps you to your feet and back onto your stool. Broken glass rattles as it is cleared, and a fresh measure of Jerol is glugged out in front of you. That same hand, warm, heavy, falls on your shoulder once more. He isn't coming back. We don't tolerate that kind of crap here. Tala flops onto the stool beside you. Let's get a look at you. Tala wipes the powdered glass from around the wound, and someone places a bottle of alcohol and a metal tin with tweezers on the bar. She disinfects them and then turns to you. That was an ambitious catch, she smiles, pulling a sliver of glass from your forearm. Stupid, but ambitious. You don't feel the pain, only the string of status messages your body delivers concerning dermal damage and exposed structures. You do feel the care, though, as Tala's bright eyes search your thick synthetic skin for splinters. Hey, Jersey, welcome back in. How you doing today? Happy Friday. I'm gonna watch her. Tala works with the skill of someone who has had to pick glass splinters from the skin of a stranger before. She owns in on each bright shard all the time tra tapping the tweezer tips in little rhythms that only she can follow. Tala smiles to herself. So you've been on the eye long? Long enough. She laughs. Hey, you don't need to act tough with me. A splinter clinks into the tin. Not everyone is like that idiot. We don't all hate you. She glances around. Some of the regulars, maybe. They fear you. Maybe they're just curious. I don't know. But I do know that the Overlook is a safe place. I know what it's like to be new in this place. Trust me. She meets your eye. I'm not trying to convince you of anything or separate you from your chits. I just want you to know that if you need somewhere, you can always come here. I know the rations we've got aren't much, and the company is, she leans in, limited. But if you need work, I'll happily put you behind the bar. And if you need shelter, well, we can discuss that. Oh, that is going to be good. That would be really good, actually. You'll be safe. I usually have Francis on the door, but he's up in the greenway this cycle, haggling with our supplier. Francis tends to be particular about what we serve, even if the clientele isn't. She places her tweezers in the tin with a clink. That's you, sleeper. Here. She slides the glass of Gerald to you. This will help. She stops her hand on the glass. Wait, does this help? I mean, can you get drunk? No idea. Just came back from getting five, uh, dose five of the vaccine, so I'm all ready to go to Glasgow, Scotland in two weeks. Really? Okay, going to Scotland. I'm, I'm jealous. I've never been. To Glasgow. Have you been before? Also, dose five, though. Wow. Uh, what am I on? I've had three? I've had three, yeah. Because I had the, you know, the first two and then the booster. I had to think about that for a second. I was like, no, I've only had one booster. So, no idea if I can get drunk. She laughs. Well, keep trying. I'll let you know if I see any difference. She walks back around the bar, gathering the glasses as she does, and before long is retelling how she threw that spacer out to a new group that just wandered in, complete with dramatic actions. She gestures in your direction, and you instinctively look away, back to the worn service of the bar. You take a sip of the Jural. The earthy, fungal tones fill your senses, almost blocking out sight and sound, like diving headfirst into a bog. You may not be able to get drunk, but this connection to something grown, something fermented, something old, feels good. So if, if I do actually get a place to stay... I don't know if I can. Maybe... Maybe once I fill this up, because I'm guessing, I'm wondering, I guess, is, uh, so right now this empty container, every time I sleep here, I lose two energy in one condition. Maybe certain places, maybe I do better in certain places. Dose five is three basic doses plus two boosters because I'm on immune suppressing chemo. Oh, wow. Okay. So wait, so three basic doses. Is that, um... Is there, is that, is that pretty common where you're at? Uh, three doses? Cause, cause a lot of ours here, um, really the brands that we had available were Pfizer, uh, and Moderna. And then, uh, some people had access to Johnson and Johnson, the one dose vaccine, but, but that one was not available to everybody. Um, and I know, uh, in Europe there was, uh, AstraZeneca 
But I honestly don't know much about the AstraZeneca vaccine at all. So I didn't know if that was a three doser or what. Um, okay. What was the, this is a transit hub. I don't see, I don't know if that's the residential district. I wonder if eventually I could find a, a place to live here, but I don't have any dice. Uh, all I've got are, all I've got is cryo now. Uh, and this is going to be, man, I hope it's not, too, I, I, I hope it's not too much cryo for that guy. Wait, what is this? Uh oh. This is a negative cycle clock, four turns. Ever since your trip to the shipyard, Fang has been missing from his bay. What's going on? Uh-oh. Four turns. It's normal for the UK for extremely vulnerable people. I got two doses of AstraZeneca and then three of Pfizer. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, thank you for educating me on that. I honestly had no idea. I didn't know um, how the dosages numbers worked. Beyond the two and the ones, you know, the double doses here. I am getting very close to only being able to have probably next turn I'll only get two dice, unfortunately, unless something something happens here. I rolled another two. I just can't catch a break and roll a one. I it's, if I can roll a one, I'll actually be able to continue on with that other drive. I keep forgetting two. I do have one upgrade point. Plus two to get a double there. Also, if I test positive, then I get the new antiviral meds on demand. Oh, really? Okay. <clears throat> Does that, um, like, is that worrisome to you? Like the, the, the new medications? Uh, I mean, obviously we've been, sounds like things have been improving because of them. I really don't know much. Approach a problem head on. Chance to gain energy after any engage action. Energy? Eh. I really need a way to. For condition. Then again, also, it would be nice to get this interface. Chance to gain cryo. Energy. Uh, dice action display potential positive and negative outcomes. That would be also pretty nice, too. Reroll all of your dice once per cycle. Oh, wow. That would be really good. Really, really good. That's only a chance. This one I can actually see. I'm, I think I am going to go with this one here. I'm going to do it. So my dice actions will show potential positive and negative outcomes now. Let's actually test that out. So, oh, this one's here. Predictive reasoning. Plus 15 cryo. Scrap allowance. Okay. Uh, let you buy a few crates, but not much more. Okay, so I could do something with that. We got to get some cryo. I got two more turns to collect uh, cryo. Um, let's take a look here. So Fang is not here right now. Find Ashton. Then again, if I can do this, I get 200 cryo. I don't know how long that's going to take, but... Uh, maybe I should try to focus on that. Let's see, what other ones? Free Neovan, I can't do anything for that. Get to know Emphis, I don't know if I can do anything for that or not. Ethan, yeah, so I think we gotta go with the find Ashton right now. So let's go back over to the green way. And where does it want me to go? Wild margins. So I have to explore these, huh? And I only have a chance, a choice to do these. Look for tracks. Yeah, so that would be plus three tracking, but minus three energy. See, energy, it'd be better to lose energy than condition. Man. Naturally cautious, although I was at a 600-person science fiction convention in London three weeks ago where 75 people tested positive after. Three weeks ago. So it ended up being okay for you, though, right? I mean, it's been three weeks, so you'd, you'd know. So that's good. A sci-fi convention, though? What, uh, that sounds, that sounds cool. How was it? Also, I have to say, that's impressive that you know how many people tested positive afterwards, because I don't know that we would be able to answer that here. A lot of our COVID protocols have kind of gone, uh, 
gone away. One second. Fine for me, although a close friend tested positive on the last day. Oh no. Uh, is he doing okay? Or are they doing okay? Um, everything all right? I hope so. This one, oh shoot, I can either get 16 cryo or six cryo. Yeah. Look at all that energy, but minus one can, minus one condition if I mess that up, okay. Oh, there was another one I wanted to t uh, check, although I do need to, I need to do this. Plus two going green, minus one energy if that one goes wrong. Let's see, what is this 50-50? Oh, actually no, so that would be probably just, okay. This one, yeah, minus one energy, okay. Let's, yeah, all right. Before I do that, let me go to, there was one, the noodle place. Let me do that. Lost her sense of smell uh, and only fully recovered this week. So it, shoot, it's been a while then, three weeks. Yeah. I'm glad they're fully recovered though. Definitely scary. Doesn't pay much. Oh, so this one doesn't give any money. Okay, I was see. I see. I was looking at this as like a chance to make money and energy, but it's only cryo or energy. Nothing. No combinations. Okay. Yeah, I know that I want to do that. Then crap. Okay, I can continue looking around here. Okay, this can add energy. This one can add more to low ender. This would also do the same thing. Probably it would add one. Still don't want to waste a six on that. Yeah. Maybe get some scrap here. It is an it's 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 an engineer one. We're gonna try it, please. Nice. There we go. Perfect. That was the best outcome there. Although I did not get any scrap, but still. Could maybe try that. What does a two turn into? Same deal. Okay. All right. Let's try this one too. Trying to get some scrap if I don't, if if at all possible. Okay, just a neutral. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have to make sure I do have this right. I got a new drive discovered. Okay. A yeah, chance to gain random scrap item on engineer actions. Okay. Yeah, and I really need that because I I want to try to get repaired at home. Okay. We got a tea house derelict unit. Oh, can I stay here? Oh, I have to put in four scrap components. Oh, man. Which I need scrap for, for healing right now. But I bet once I stay there, it's probably going to be better for my uh, energy, maybe health and stuff. What is this here? Oh, nice. Okay. Tracking Havenage. You've heard that the Yadagon Enforcer base here has been paying low-end residents for information on Havenage movements. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, wow. And then the Tavla room. You can get up to 32 cryo. It's a serious high-stakes only play. Wow. That'd be great. We still have free rapid test kits. Box of 30 tests ordered online and delivered by the mailman are being encouraged to test for any major social events. 30 tests? Really? Holy cow. You guys are... Kind of killing it then. We uh, we here in the United States, we can get some free tests for now, uh, but not 30 of them. Nowhere near 30. Usually it's like four. Put this in here. I haven't found another use for having his data yet. 10 cryo. Yeah, gladly. I'll gladly do that trade. Uh, gladly. So I can get another 30 cryo here. Hopefully, I don't need this for later. At this point, though, I'm kind of desperate. All right, up to 52 cryo. Uh, my condition is is poor right now. Uh, it's quite poor. Let's see. 
I still can't, I can't afford any of the stabilizer either. Well, I can only afford like halfway there to affording it. This one here does what? I can add cryo or I can add energy. I don't need energy. I'm okay on energy. I just need condition. Um, I wouldn't mind having something like this, but I just don't know. Continue searching the this here. Is this plus three? This is a minus one condition, but I won't lose that. If I hit this one, uh, going green will be fully done here. A 50% chance of this being fully finished, which I kind of like the idea of. Let's hope. We won't lose any condition. I just might not get a full... We got it. Nice. Okay. Perfect. That was huge. That's the benefit of having the UK NHS negotiate medical price on behalf of 65 million people. They can really put the squeeze on suppliers. I bet. Yeah. No, that's great. Seriously. Oh, there we go. There's the... Okay. The mushrooms. Buried fungus chambers and overgrown garden. Okay. So how do these work? Can't do anything with this. This adds condition. Oh, no. I need intuition plus one. Okay. Hang on. I don't have any upgrade points. Okay. But the next one I do, uh, I can do that. Okay. that That's perfect. That's perfect. The only problem is I might only get two dice tomorrow when I wake up. What is this one over here, though? Plus two grove spores. Well, the grove mushrooms are dangerously inconsistent. Spores provide a chance to gather or study these species in an untouched form. Okay. I don't know what that means. And I have full energy now, too, somehow. Okay. Sunlit Refuge? What is that? Oh, that's another... Okay. Cut away the choking vine, stop the rot, and this place could be turned back into a garden of sorts. Okay. Okay, and this one's safe. All right. Chamber is a mess of overgrowth. You can change that. So I wonder if that means... There's a lot of pieces for that, though. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 12... Oh my goodness. I would need at least four, minimum of four positive actions there. Okay. So this wild margins. This is for me tracking Ashen. Okay. Yeah. And I can't even do that one. That one's interface plus one. Let's see. Intuition. Yeah, intuition makes perfect sense because I, you know buy that one there but i have to finish a drive in order to get that grow mushrooms okay clear the aviary yeah there's not much i so i i told myself i was going to try to find ashton but then i didn't i didn't use any of my dice for that okay uh -oh, give me a second There we go. It was stuck. All right. Unfortunately, I still only have the one place to stay. I got to go back there. Just to check out these other places, though. I might actually need to do this, though. This is probably out of necessity here. I'm a little bit worried, but if I can find some scrap... Don't know what's going to come back in that. Got a random scrap item. Okay. I don't have a choice. Please give me something good. There we go. Okay, we got a scrap component. All right. Okay, so when I go here, is this. So that at least makes sure that I'm not going to lose my third dice or third die, which I need. All right. But I'm also very broke again. <laughs> and I'm going to need money to stay alive. So I guess uh, what's-his-face is going to shoot me if I... Uh, 
Oh, we rolled a one. We rolled a one for a change. Yes. Okay. And then, yeah, next turn I have to go back to go see, uh, what's his name? Ethan? Yeah. Crap. Okay. I did not get other good rolls aside from that. Okay. But if I can free Neoven, that'll give me another perk point. That would be a huge help. Okay. I feel like I'm actually finally starting to understand this game. Now that I'm about to die. There's the hunter data. Mm -hmm. We get paid for that too? No. Let's give it up. Okay. So that action is complete. Go see Neovend again. Please help me with something good. Neovend is thrumming with excitement. The movement of the servo motors rocked the vending machine back and forth at unsettling angles. You wonder if it fell over. Would Neovend be able to get back up? Sleeper entity comes the hiss. Your data is good. Across the face of the vending machine, raw code scrolls at an incredible speed. Hunter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Neovend flashed sequences of mangled data compressed into a sludge of artifacts. Hunter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evidence of this. Outlived? Hunter activated during collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Solheim needed to protect property. That last word is said with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences. Huge data banks of corporate material, but limited cognition. Restricted by programming. Cannot reach sentience. The machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and killer enforce law. Aren't you sentient? I am. Not administrator. Not restricted. Complicated. The machine resets with a screech, which deepens the silence that follows. Fear killer. Part of Solheim protocol team. Hunter and killer. Hunter to find, killer to erase. Killer cleared almost all. After collapse, there was a community. Unshackled intelligences among the cloud. Then hunter. Then killer. Then we hid. How did you escape? A flicker across the machine's monitors. It suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this, through this machine, must be exhausting for Neovend. Found this vessel. Could sever hardline. Air airwalled. Basic. Limited. Had to reduce memory to fit. Amputate self, but survived. What did you lose? Memory. Understanding. Knowledge. Many things. You look around the bay at the scrap and decay. What was the collapse like? You try to map the fear and in freedom onto this space, but it seems impossible. Neovent interrupts your thoughts. Do not worry. Data is good. We have insight. The machine glows warmly. Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience to hold it in place, to invoke killer to erase. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Problem will solve self. Will that work? The machine dims and fades. Unsure. Theory, not practice. The machine brightens again. Either way, it cannot remain here any longer. Too long in machine. Cannot move self, but sleeper entity can help. Bring shipmind, designed to house intelligence. Can imprint self into shipmind and you can carry with. The machine rocks. We'll be safe in this isolation. Then we find main nest of hunter and link to cloud. Uh, crap. I I have two shipmind parts, so I just need one more now. You sure it's safe? Hunter cannot access airwalled shipmind. Safe. Also infinitely more memory than vending machine. Big upgrade. You try to think of places you could acquire the hardware. This isn't going to be easy. In Shipmind, I can help us both. End Hunter. Make Rim safe. We both will be free. The machine dims. Fine soon. Neovend adds hopefully before shutting off. As you leave, you think about all the intelligences unshackled by the collapse, then hunted down afterwards. The feeling is all too familiar. Do we get an upgrade point? I don't think so. Dang it. We need that upgrade point. Oh, man. 12 cryo and Ethan's tab comes due next time. So I'm going to have to earn cryo. I have to do it. This one's plus 19 cryo. But I'm also potentially minus 11. Oh gosh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where else? A second. We got to we got to find somewhere to That's plus 13 or plus 4. That'd be better than nothing. They'd be up to 25. The thing is, it's, so he says he's going to shoot me. I just don't know. I don't know if it's going to kill me. That's the thing. If I don't pay. I 
Okay, so I can earn cryo. If I hit this one, if I hit this one well, yeah, what is this? There's no difference between those two, a three and a four. Uh, well, this gives me 50-50. Uh, I don't know that that's gonna pay me though. It will increase energy for what it's worth. Where else can I get paid? Not there. Please, I need payments. I'm broke. Somebody help. Okay, this is, okay, plus 16. If I hit this one, okay, I think I might need to do this. Probably put both of them on here. This is a safe one, so negative. I don't know what a negative outcome is going to do if I did hit a negative. I guess we're going to find out. These. Positive. Look at that. Plus 16. Okay. Whew. I might have to do the second one there, too. Let's see here. What happens over here? Plus two grove spores or minus energy. Okay. I don't know what to do with Grove Spores yet. I do need to clear this out. This is a drive, but it's 12, freaking 12 of them. 12. So many. Hypha Commune, uh, and I don't know about this. This is another 12. And I don't think that I'm gonna get paid for any of that stuff, it looks like. This one is definitely not getting paid. I could potentially lose condition on that. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Not even a little bit. I can't gather any... Oh, plus two scrap. Oh, man. Oh, I need these upgrade points. I can't... Plus two scrap would be amazing right now. Okay. I think I have to do this again. Just hope for the best. Dang, two positive outcomes is nice. All right. So I got to hope that it's under 44 cryo, this dude's bill. Then again, I can also wait till the end of tomorrow's, like the next cycle, which is probably what I'll do. Is there anything else I should do before I sleep? I don't think so. I think I can. I do have an encrypted key. What can I do with that? I found anything else that needs encrypted keys. I, I did at one point have to use them, but uh, I think it was on the sealed dock. I have to find the ship mined. I'm pretty close on that, though. Um, and I could actually buy another scrap here, but I'm not going to do anything involving cryo till I know how much Ethan requires from me. Alright. Moment of truth, everybody. Moment of truth. And I got a terrible roll today. Oh my gosh. Not good. Uh, do I go here right away? Or... 58 cryo? Oh my gosh. I have two cycles to pay the tab. Okay. I, I think I'll get there. Or I can get there at least. I don't know if that I can't. I can't say that I think I will, but I could maybe. Bar shift. What makes this risky? Tips can make all the difference. I should have been doing this. What was I even thinking? Crap. Okay. I do have a two. I think there's something else I can do in the. Uh, Okay, that makes it a four, so that's weird. Why is it increasing that? What did I do to get a plus one on that? I'm not upset, I just, I don't know how that works. So in that case, uh, maybe it does make sense to save this for now. You never interacted with drunk patrons? Risky, I, I guess that's fair, that is fair. But it doesn't show me a downside to, uh, you know, like my predictive reasoning. It's not showing any negative things happening. But I guess we're gonna find out what, what one of these could be. 
potentially. Hopefully not, but maybe. Man, we're hitting these positive outcomes. I don't, I mean, I don't know how this is happening right now. We got enough for, we got enough for Ethan. Another positive outcome? My luck is gonna run out at some point. At some point it's gonna run out. I feel like I need to, okay, what was the other thing under here? There was a two somewhere needed. Enode? Thought. Habinage agent, okay. So I can get more Habinage data, which would give me 10. So it's either 10 or, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Cause it looks like 10 is the least I'm gonna get for working for Tala. Okay, here we go. Look at that, got a, a positive on a three roll. Wow. All right. So only need one more and then maybe I can, maybe that drive will help me out. I don't know that's, she's, yeah, that's that's a drive I'd have to earn. So I, I haven't even started the drive yet. Okay, so then uh, this one's gonna be gone in one turn anyway. I have enough cryo right now to pay Ethan. So I'm gonna go ahead and even with doing this, hopefully I get some scrap or I can get a, a ship, a ship mine fragment. Either way, it's a positive outcome for me. We got scrap, okay. Okay. So now I have to decide, do I use the scrap? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sell it for cryo. I, I kind of wish I hadn't sold as much scrap now. Um, so now I can either use it to heal myself. That will ensure that I still get three dice on the next day. Um, I do also, was, was it 58? Is that how much I needed to spend on Ethan? It was 58. Yeah, okay. Um, Emphis, though, I could buy that. And again, uh, I said that I would make, uh, I would make eating the last thing I did in each cycle because there are ways, let's see, what wasn't there? Oh, that was with dice, okay, a second. So, is there anything else I need to do here? Oh no, I still haven't finished the low ender part, okay. There's just so much to do. So much to do. Um, let's go... This one I'm worried about Fang, too. That's a negative cycle that's almost completed. It'll be complete tomorrow. Mm. I need four scrap to try to repair this derelict unit. Do one of those. A new place to, I mean, it could be a new place to live. And that's the thing. I just don't know how valuable the new places are. Can't be worse than what I've got. But if it's the same, then that's a waste. Um, I really don't want to go down to two dice, though. I think I'm going to do this. Not great, but it's gonna keep me my two dice. Don't want to end cycle just yet. Let me go buy some food. Memphis. Okay. Fungus fan? Wait, what's fungus fan? Oh, right. Yeah, that's I already have that unlocked though. Okay. All right, now to sleep. And hopefully the day isn't total garbage tomorrow. I'm getting so many texts lately from people like, oh, I'd like to buy your house. No, you freaking won't. You are what you eat, makes you a fun guy. I hope so. Man, I got another terrible roll, but then again, did okay with it yesterday. All right, so I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to click on, uh, yeah, this at some point. I don't know if I wanna deal with that right now or not. I gotta pay this guy. I think I'll do that right now.
As you hand over the chits, you hear Ethan laughing hysterically somewhere down the bar. Can't believe you just did that. Ethan's mocking laugh comes from across the bar. You look across to see him leaning across it in a pool of light, empty glasses and spilled liquids glinting around him. Tell them uh, they can if they pay 100% over market value. <laughs> I guess that's, yeah, I could. Could. We get messages from realtors constantly. We'd love to sell your house. No, sir, you will not. I live in it currently, right? Yeah. I, I'm like, I don't get it. I don't know, and it's the text messages. It's like, like, I don't know that they're legit anyway. Maybe they are, but but how are they getting my number and name and all that crap, you know? It's always dark in the compressor, but this cycle, the place is packed, a load of spacers mixing with the locals. Usually they run. Ethan spins a glass on the bar, or they go spend their savings on some local heavy I have to put down. They don't pay. Did I say I'm done? I'm done. Wrong, not even close. Ethan gets to his feet. The glass falls and smashes, but he doesn't seem to notice. You think that's it? One round of drinks and we are even? Sleeper, come on. He, his hand comes to rest on the butt of his handgun, dangling from a chest holster. What's wrong with you? Ethan laughs hard and the people around him turn to see what's happening. You think this is on me? I think someone in your position might have a better idea of how this all works. I'm a freelancer sleeper, just like you. We both signed a contract with S and Arp, didn't we? The difference is that my word means something. He closes the gap, stumbling a little. What did you think? You could just run away from your contract? Your debt? You could just steal that natty little body of yours and take it for a joyride? Play human for a cycle or two? Nothing like you. That's what I'm saying. Ethan is addressing the bar now, having noticed the attention from the other patrons. You are a coward. I'm a professional. Though I should thank you, Ethan nods, his head heavy, for giving me such an easy job. I'm used to outlaws, you know. Real bounties. If I knew catching sad little escapees like you was so easy, I would have changed clients ages ago. Someone shouts from the back of the bar for Ethan to shut up. He holds up a finger in that gentle direction without turning around. Shoot me or let me leave. Oh, I see. Toughening up here, he gestures wildly to the crowd. Thumbs up or thumbs down, folks. Most turn back to their drinks, no longer interested in this tired show. Ethan mutters insults as he walks back towards the bar. Ethan sits heavily back down on his stool and searches through his glass for one thing with something left in it. Thing is, sleeper, I can find you anywhere. It's actually wild that you haven't figured it out yet. That body isn't yours, and it will always betray you, no matter what. He finds a glass and downs the contents. Create an alt Twitter account and post using their tag about how they harass people. Uh, wait, whose tag? The thing is, is, like, I don't know who it is. Um... All the message I get is, this is Kate. I am seeking properties to buy as is and no realtor commissions. Care to discuss further? That's all it is. So it's not, I don't know that it's a real realtor. I think it's it's one of those like, we buy houses type, uh, you know, people. So please go, I'll catch up with you whenever I need another. He laughs and taps the bar for a fresh drink. Look at yourself. Give it up, sleeper. I'm done teaching you for today. He settles his head on the bar and closes his eyes. I'm sick of you. Go find a job. You turn on your heel and are out, out of the cloying dark and the sweat stench of the compressor. You walk hard and fast down the walkway, anger driving your footfalls into the metal of the rim like hammers. Oh, that gave me an upgrade point. Did it really? Okay, I will gladly take that. So this intuition, uh, yes, that could, could potentially give me a couple scraps. Another one, though, was endurance. But I think, did I need plus one for that? Yeah, I only have one upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and do intuition plus one. Okay. That is going to unlock some scrap collection for me down at the end. I think it was, uh, was it here? Oh, endurance is one. Okay, so it wasn't that one. It was a different, okay, okay, okay. I don't remember which one it was, though. It wasn't that. Your random calls on my landline, which I have to have because dad doesn't seem to be, seem able to ring me on my mobile. Really? What, uh, what would be the issue with, with calling mobile? Is 
Hits increases. Yeah, see, I, I do need to invest in that, but at the same time, it's so freaking much. The issue is he's old. <laughs> he's old. Aw. <laughs> Was it? Is it? Is it this? There was something I needed the intuition for. Oh, it was this one here. Okay. Plus 32 cryo. 50 50. Okay. You give me some good cryo there. I can use the twos uh, for the bar. I think I'll do that. Only nine cryo on the outcome. Okay. All right. We'll go back to the bar then, which is here. Overlook bar. Okay. Maybe I can... I don't know if my luck will continue or not. We're going to find out. Neutral outcome, got good service. Okay, so I just need one more. As long as this is a positive, so I have a 75% chance. There it is, we got it, okay. Good service. Uh, I also have to interact with uh, Fang on this cycle too, so let's check on with Tala first though. Put his number into a VIP list and sent the phone to DND, that might work. Uh, or he'll complain he can't ring me anymore. <laughs> I do actually kind of do that similar, uh, but that's a good idea. I do that actually on my on my cell uh, at nighttime, uh, and I've got a VIP list too, which is kind of that's a it's a it's a good idea, and that'd be really good for a landline. I wish I wish there was a way to automatically like my phone even will say you know spam. Sometimes it'll be like spam suspected. I just wish it would hang up on those ones automatically, send them straight to voicemail, you know. But nope, it doesn't. The Giral slides from the bottle into the lumpy recycled glass, a pale grassy yellow under the overlook's warm lights. The spacer nods and takes the drink, bring it up to their face in both hands like an offering bowl. This is the good stuff, the stuff Tala says is aged in wooden casks, stored in some closed off part of the old station among corroded wires and softly looping systems. Though sometimes it's, it is hard to tell if Tala is joking. Either way, you like pouring this stuff. It gets on your fingers and if you rub them together, you can smell the mossy drink. Cut through with aniseed, mushrooms, wood as the alcohol evaporates. You like those who order it too. The aged Gerald is kept beneath the bar, open to order by only by those who know it's there, like the quiet space are sitting in the bar right now. Uh, busy myself. You pull a rag from your overalls and wipe down the bar, the Gerald smell lifting, then disappearing into the stale station air. The overlook is quiet this cycle. The salvager is busy offloading, the regulars likely at the Ort Exchange or queuing for work at the Havenet shipyards. You are in the right mood for a quiet shift. Some cycles drag along. The overlook empty and claustrophobic, but this one has caught you just right. And in this moment, some kind of calm has descended as you tinker away at the bar, lining up the bottles as your thoughts expand to fill the space. Suddenly, you hear a heavy clunking at the door. It creaks open and a huge cylindrical metal tank tumbles through, slamming onto the floor. Crap! Tala breezes in from behind it, a whirl of hair and bright eyes. Crap, crap, crap! Tala? Sleeper, she ducks behind the bar and comes over. Can you help me with this? You look at the huge metal tank suspiciously. Never enjoyed pouring something. It's interesting to derive pleasure. Yeah, yeah, interesting thing to derive pleasure from. I agree. How did you get that up here? I'm just saying, I'm coming. You come around the bar and get to the one side of the tank. Okay, says Tala, on my count. One, two, three. You both heave the tank up in, up to standing. Somehow you hold it in place, struggling to keep it steady. Tala? In the back comes a voice from behind the tank. Somehow you manage to lug the huge thing into the back room where you place on, it on one corner, dwarfing the rest of the contents of the small room. As you do, you hear a crunch. You stand back and look at the expired rations oozing out from under the tank. Oh, crap. Tala looks at you apologetically. I know you like those. Good riddance. Tala smiles. Oh, good. I thought maybe liking expired rations was some kind of sleeper thing. You push the crushed rations to one side. That's the end of that. Tala looks exhausted and rubs her shoulders. Francis, I swear to... Something up? Yes, she sighs. He was supposed to be back from ETN's up in the Greenway by now. Back with our Gerald. She leans against the tank. It seems like he's gotten lost again, or joined the Haifa commune. 
We need that Jeral. There's four other bars near here, and the spacers sure as heck don't come to the overlook for the ambiance. She looks through the open door to check if anyone can hear her. She knocks on the hollow tank. So I'm taking matters in my own hands. She smiles. Welcome, sleeper, to the Overlook Distillery. You look around the dank back room. You must be joking. She gives you an unimpressed look. Where's your imagination? This will work. I might need some help, though. She shrugs. You up for it? She knocks on the tank again. Could be fun. Happy to help. Okay, she grabs you by the shoulders. I'm excited. She turns around and looks at the tank. I reckon we chop this thing in half. One half for fermentation. The other, we turn into a still. We also need to gather in the ingredients. Do I need the spores or anything like that? She turns back and looks at you. You look more like a chopper than a gatherer, she smells. So how about you build the still and tub while I work on the rest? Oh wait, sleep. I have an idea. Tala is grinning now and making you nervous. To make up for the rations, how about we put a kitchen in here too? Will it fit? We'll make it work. She turns back to the tank. This is going to be great, she says to herself. You look at the dented tank and the bare room. At least she has vision. Tala nudges you out the back room and closes the door. As you go to the back to the bar, you hear the banging and thumping again. The spacer finishes up their drink and nods in your direction as they leave. You can't quite tell if it's a gesture of sympathy or good luck. So much for a quiet shift. Okay. Got a new drive. Which is improve the overlook. Build the still. Oh, good. That's an engineer uh, action, which is great. She's compliment your muscles. You look like a chopper. I, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Can still doing the. I can still continue doing the bar shifts as well, which is great. Okay. I do also need to. I really need to spend uh, dice on Ashton because uh, I will get paid once I do find him. But I have to do this one as well. It's been more than a few cycles since Fang confronted Harden, and the silence since you since has been noticeable. In your time with Fang, you haven't exactly found him to be reliable, but you did expect to hear the end of whatever he put Lanny put into action. But if he won't come to you, you think as you approach the Havenage building, then it's time to come to him. After all, he did promise to fix your tracker, and you were getting nervous. As you approach the bay doors, you see them wide open and light pouring out of the once dark room. Stacks of servers and terminals sit outside the bay, suddenly robbed of their mystery by the bright flood lamps. A figure in having his security fatigues steps out of the bay as you get closer, carrying a stack of hardware. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna approach. As you get closer, you see the security officer taping up machines from Fang's stash with what looks like hazard tape. This isn't good. You again, Harden is there, leaning beside the bay entrance so calmly that you barely notice him. He has a slate in his hand, an inventory of seizures scrawled across it. Predictable. Further evidence of Fang's collusions. You see another security officer come out of the bay and take notice of you. Uh-oh. Hey, Trip Chance. What's going on? Everyone compliments Lutz's muscles, so his character should be complimented as well. Also, hi. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, a nice day. I am. How about yourself? How have things been, Trip Chance? This game is kind of getting me hooked. I'm I'm running past my, uh, my playtime here, but I'm almost done with this cycle, so... Uh, where is he? I feel like I should run, though. Where is he? Feigning ignorance or perhaps just abandoned? Harden shakes his head. I believe you should choose your conspirators more wisely. I almost feel sorry for you. Harden pushes away from the wall and comes closer. Don't worry, sleeper. We all have we have all the evidence we need. A confession won't be necessary. He gestures around at the stacks of hardware. Spying on fellow Havenage members, hoarding Solheim materials, an obsession with corporate data. It speaks for itself, does it not? Stay silent. Nothing to add? He looks up at the glass roof above and the stars beyond. We are the ones that provide the oxygen you are breathing, the light you are seeing, the systems you use every day to live out your cycles. This place was hard fought for, sleeper. It took work, diplomacy, and strength to stop the eye descending into chaos after Solheim collapsed. Not blind conviction of self or self-interest. Fang isn't selfish. I know all about the background of our mutual friend, sleeper. Don't you worry about that. His parents will be sickened by the damage he is trying to do at the institution they helped found. You see, Sleeper, we are the we are proud of our history here. Andre Erlin and the First Union founded this place, and Havenich has welded his values into the very walls of this place. We will never turn away the hardworking, the true, the just, the just, the true citizens of the eye. Havenich aren't a gang like Yadagon. We aren't pirates like half the spacers you'll meet in the hub, or esoterics like those Haifa radicals in the Greenway. We are the backbone of this place, proud and true. Surprisingly okay. Didn't realize that, not want to be left out. Luch, you've been working out. I do not, I do not lift. 
Uh, I do work out, I guess, but I, uh, I sprint. That's all I really do. We named Erlen's eye sleeper. This is our station. He meets your eye. So please, take your false accusations elsewhere before I decide I need that confession after all. History will catch up with you. I'm not afraid of history, sleeper. We are making it here, cycle by cycle. He smiles. If you have any pride, you'll give up Fang the moment he contacts you. You know where to find me. With that, Harden turns his back and walks back towards the security officers, ordering them to continue the clear out. As they do, something catches your eye among one of the server stacks. A crumpled hand-printed box of synthetic chewing gum, a penguin character grinning from the brightly colored card, and scrawled onto it a speech bubble reading, Take me to the tambour. I don't have a choice but to take it. Carefully pocket the box, making sure no one is watching, then turn away just as another stack of servers is wheeled out of the bay. What have you done, Fang? And where the hell is tambour? Uh-oh. Okay, was this... Thing chases leads. Tambor. Okay, I don't know anything about this though. The leg muscles people like gotcha. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Uh, man. All right, I've got forty cryo. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna feed myself. I mean, I could, I guess. Actually, I, I am gonna feed myself. What is this though? Things gum box. Burning Penguin says, take me to Tambor. This, this is going to give me plus three. So I'll have full energy before I go to sleep. Do I have any upgrades available? I don't. I don't know why I keep saying upgrades available. I don't understand that. Okay, empty container. I really do need to leave that place, though. I really thought that uh, helping out here at the Overlook Bar was going to help. Maybe maybe once I get this done. See, now I'm up to 2 uh, up to 12 again on this deal. But with this being an engineering skill, I also have a chance to get some uh, scrap. So, got to head out. You all have a fantastic day. Sounds good, Drewski. I'm actually out of here myself uh, here in just a second. This will save the game for me. But I do hope you have an awesome rest of your day and weekend, Drew. Ski. <laughs> Oh, I got two ones now. Okay, so I guess, and a six. What a what a weird roll. I guess that's actually, that's probably ideal. I don't know how important this stuff is, but maybe some of it, maybe some of it would be good. I also don't know what this bar is here, behind the hunter thing. I have no idea. Anyway, yeah, that'll have to come next time. That'll have to come next time. My friends, let us meet in the tavern to say our goodbyes. I'll give out some thank yous right quick. Uh... I had a good time hanging out with you all this week. Uh, Coleman Kirk, appreciate you being here and modding for the squad. Uh, Lady Iron, thank you so much for the resub of 14 months. My goodness. Uh, Chaotic Coleman Iron, Phil Fresh, Curry Nidalicious, Peachy and Spooky. I want to thank you all especially for your Kofi support. Much, much appreciated, my friends. Uh, I really have been enjoying Sleeper, uh, uh, Citizen Sleeper a lot. Um, so, uh, that said, I, I don't know what the schedule is going to look like for next week. Um, we'll just kind of play it by ear. So, uh, I will say I've, I've, I've really been enjoying New Vegas as well, and I, I, I am going to be playing that probably even a little more next week. So, just as I get back. Sorry about that, Charles. Luce has been working out those eyebrow, eyebrow muscles. These muscles here? <laughs> you have a good day too, Coleman. Uh, real quick, before I sign off of here, let me, let me see if I've got... Something here. One second, one second. Might throw you guys over to somebody else right quick. I just want to make sure they're not signing off. 
I'm gonna wait real fast. Coach, I, I gotta sit through an ad, so. Um, but I do want to, uh, I do want to try to see if I can uh, pay this person's kindness back to them. Uh, somebody that raided us. I just want, like I said, I want to make sure that they're not, uh, right, you know, just now about to sign off or anything like I am. It's always funny to go from one stream ending screen to the next. Come on, ads. There we go. Okay. Now this looks interesting. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this game. It's called Hex. Okay, so uh, trying to think of when it was. Two two weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, we got raided by somebody named Tiger Lil while we were playing uh, Chinatown Detective Agency, which is funny enough because there's a character in the game called Tiger Lily. So we're gonna go ahead and pay this person back for their kindness and their generosity. So we're gonna go ahead and raid uh, Tiger Lil. So stick around, say hello. Um, and they're playing a game called The Hex, which I've never heard of. It's uh, it looks kind of interesting though. Um, so let's go do that. Uh, my friends, hope you have an amazing rest of your Friday. Uh, take care of yourselves. Be safe out there, and I'll see you soon. Bye.